Hello and welcome back to Expeditions of Mud Runner game. You join me already out in Arizona. If you watched the last episode, you'll know that we are having an absolute mare of trying to bring this truck back. It's for the unsuccessful geoanalysis contract. Got to deliver the fallen truck. There's our fallen truck. We initially came in from this point here. Go down, across, cross the river, but not on the, on the crossing. We had to drive across. We picked the truck up here, and then it took around about 40 to 45 minutes to bring that truck along here, up and over there. I just dragged it off the cliff, and then I've, I've honestly, I've just drug, I've dragged that truck along here for 30 minutes 30 minutes this took <clears throat> excuse me and we've got to get it I really need to get it up here I need to get back up on here on dry land and over here once we once we get here it's gonna be easy pickings I just need to get it through here so we can get it up that that's it once I get there we're good we can go up Go around, all dry, all good. But it's not budging. It's got stuck on that boulder that it's not even making contact with. It's stuck on there because uh, apparently exhibition physics is awful on these boulders and rocks and stuff. I am not having fun on this job, but sometimes, you know. The stress of it is part of it. It's not. It was easy. It'd probably be boring. But when there's things like that, the stop here. Like there's nothing there, but we can't go because there's a boulder with that's got way too big of a collision on it. And we have a stones floating underneath our truck that causes us collision as well. So what I'm attempting to do, because I know I can winch myself out of there, because we winched ourselves out already, I can't smack that truck into the river. So that it's away from that rock. That's all I'm trying to do now. I'm resorting to violence, is what I'm doing. Because if we can't do this, I, I have to reset it. And in resetting it, it goes right back to where we picked it up. Let's uh, reduce a little bit of rock crawling. got another truck on the map if we need to get fuel which I think we will right Now my, now my anchor is causing me problems. Oh, swing me around. So yeah, this is unsuccessful geoanalysis part two. 
and um, I'm feeling quite unsuccessful myself. Can't get a camera angle I want. It's just become very stressful at the minute. And throughout this series, I've tried not to lose my shizzle and I've tried not to be a sweary little mole. But this particular job is bringing it out in me. And I've churned the muck up now that it's getting harder to steer through. Every time we get near the edge, the impossible boulders kick in and pretty much force me off towards the river. Right. So, winch. Engine on. I want that as slack as I can. So I'd like to be able to pan out a bit further, so I could see more stuff, but for some reason you can't when you're attached. side with me. Come on. Come on. That's fine. I should now be able to grab its front. Pull it along. See, the thing is, I didn't want to be at this angle. This is why I'm wanted to do it from the side, but these, these pissing stones are forcing my truck in a direction I am not driving it. So where did I want to get it? Oh, for the first time ever, the thing didn't reset. So do I want to, I do want to go down. I want to try and see if I can get it up there with me. I'd rather bump it off there than have to do anything else. So. Oh, I've stopped moving, so now he's got stuck. Oh. My lord. Again, this is with the engine on, and, and you can see the wheels aren't turning for me. It is not attempting to drive. And if, if it was out of fuel, it would would it would say turn engine on. The engine would be off. Honestly, this is this is wearing thin on me. It's been an hour. I don't expect him to come up there. I just want him to come around to there. I don't care what sort of state he gets there in now. I just want it to bloody move.
put a bit more pressure back in the tyres. So... He's better rolling it. It's easier than trying to get it to drive behind you. Which is crazy. Like how nuts is that? That that was easier than trying to get the bloody thing to drive. It's gonna, it's gonna make me. It's gonna make me. It's gonna make me go down there. It's not gonna be able to get it where I want it. It's not happening. Come on. Come, 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 come. A bit further. Less than half, half a tank of fuel as well to finish this off. As I say, we do have another truck out on the map, so I assume it gets engine back on. Come on! Makes, this makes no sense, honestly. The, the truck behaviour makes absolutely no sense. The green truck, that is, not me. Like, like, I get that the rocks are pushing me where I don't want to get to, but... That green truck behaviour makes no sense. Connect because everything's got the turn and circle of a Boeing 747. Six point turn to straighten myself up in an attempt to try and straighten it up. Should be driving with me now. Engine on, no issues. Oh, madness, 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 madness. Early morning, let's go. So, until I get to some sort of crevice, which I imagine is just the other side of this rock, we should be good. But then I can just pull myself over, then pull the truck over, and then by looking at our map, it looks like it should be 
relatively easy sailing from there. We're just going to have to bring the, um, the TUS down to refuel us. How are we for repairs and stuff like that? We're good. The amount of fuel we've gone through is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Six, six parts of that eight part bed were fuel. We're going to get caught. Well, of course you are. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you get caught on a tiny, tiny little bloody rock? You're this massive, great truck. Why wouldn't you get stuck? starting to feel like that's the equivalent of people that go to the gym to get big muscles and think they can fight like you can't. That's the sort of energy I'm getting from this bloody truck. Right, get up my arse and follow me round. So little feel. We'll drive it until it's completely out and then I'll bring it to us. I'm not sure which way I need to go now. Where am I? That's not it. Where am I? Just keep going straight, hopefully we can get over that. And then hopefully we can get over that. I don't have to deal with any more water. Thank you very much. So there should be a dead tree. We want to go on the right hand side of the dead tree. Just run out of fuel now as well. So it better be easy sailing from here on out. Crazy, absolutely crazy. The amount of time this has been. And we spent, I think it's like 12, 13 grand to come out. And the delivery of this. Of course, of course, of course. That dead branch is unbreakable. Um, yeah, and the delivery of this is like 6,700. But I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that we, we get this truck, or one of these trucks, in the garage. It says it unlocks on this job, so hopefully we get a free one. I don't know if that's a thing. That's just some, some wishful uh, Snowrunner-esque vibes, that. Every couple of delivery trucks, or truck deliveries you do, every now and then there's one that you get to keep. This isn't Snowrunner, we've established this in uh, previous episodes. But some of the mechanics might come over like that. down to an eighth of a tank of fuel. We've got all sorts of debris attached to us as well now. We've got stones, we've got twigs, everything is just coming for the ride. <laughs> uh, 
don't know what that was. <laughs> We're at the bridge. We're at the bridge, and the bridge died, so that's cool. It's pointless trying to turn the all-wheel drive off because we wouldn't move. Like that wouldn't save us fuel at all. Can barely move as move as it is. Oh, you are, mate. That better not be that bloody rock that's floating on me. That better not be that rock. If that floating rock is going to stop me from being out of climb, I'm going to be so pissed off. I think it is. I think it's that rock. Oh. No. I think now, now is when we uh, go find our Tuz. And that is just filled with fuel. We've got some anchors. We do have two. We have four jack screws just in case. And um, yeah, now we've been down there, but I think when we came last time. It was like over here and then down there. I need to make a more direct route. Which could possibly be going here. Down somewhere. We'll have a look. We'll see what we can do. This, this is where we've got to deliver that truck to. This is where we've got to get the hug to there. Now there has to be, there has to be a more efficient, more capable route of bringing that truck back. I don't know, there has to be. It just makes no sense that that's the route. The one that I took. If I look at the map, I don't see another another feasible route. I really don't. But I don't think if we'd have used the Tuz, although the Tuz is sort of a little bit more capable on these terrains, I just don't think it would have pulled them. I think we would have pulled that big old the Tuz and the Pug the combo right now this this may end up with a tactical roll like some of our others do but 
we can pick ourselves up and that's the whole point of it. Well, nearly saved it. But we're down. <laughs> uh, so we get the jack out. That's the least of um, sort of concerns now. There we are. We're down. We're good. Let's roll. This doesn't have a, an opera gearbox here either. I thought it did. Right, so we want to... Probably just see if we can bounce down there or maybe down there. That might be the way. I think to get it back up, I'm going to have to take it a long way round. But quite some, it's quite some way from that now. Bouncy, bouncy. Lovely job. Now, is there... Somebody over there? Is there any... When we came down here before, wasn't there a... A drop? Pick up some fuel and stuff over here before? It was only a few days ago, but I uh, <laughs> I have memory issues, so who knows? Let's try and get it as quick as we can. Crazy. Crazy. You guys left to let me know down in the comments if you're still here and you're still watching this, you're still trying to watch me recover this drop. In the future, when we have some really long episodes like this or really long tasks, would you like me to try and put the task all in one? All oh, these save stars. Um, all in, all in one. Uh, in one episode and like edit it up or do you want to see the raw footage of the struggle and I just break it down you guys have to let me know uh, so trade what no trade there we go so I want the fuel please All of it? Wow. That's all of it. That's not a lot, is it? See is. We'll put a little extra in. Actually, I think I might. Just in case. Just in case I need to uh, <laughs> do another run. Right. Change truck. Oh no. We already changed truck, didn't we? Thank you very much for your parts, sir. It's a shame you can't refuel uh, the vehicle behind that you're towing. Again, that was possible in the Runner of Snows. So I think now our biggest challenge is just going to be those boulders getting get stuck in the fuel. Now I'm going to go low gear and put the diff on just because that should save us a little bit of fuel. Go from like 13 
they all still jump up to 12, but we're like 13, 14 metres down to like 9, 10 sometimes. So. I don't know whether this is more fuel efficient. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> Leaving it behind is definitely more fuel efficient. Anyway guys, I hope you're enjoying the series still, um, even if it's become a bit of a struggle. But it needed to get more challenging, I think. Obviously, uh, Little um, Colorado obviously is uh, the tutorial map after the tutorial. You know, we had that first tutorial to shoot the basic controls and Little Colorado was the tutorial map. So like, Arizona is like the game proper. So, Things needed to get a little bit more challenging, and I have just picked off, as a rule, the easy uh, expeditions. So I guess this is a taste of what's to come in maybe some of the harder ones. Pure frustration. <laughs> we shall see. But yeah, all in any support that's been shown on the series is greatly appreciated as always I'm, I'm recording a little bit ahead of schedule but it's, it's for my channel it's not done too bad considering you know my audience is, is mainly there for farm sim and I've not done farm sim for a while now so we will get back to it I just need to do something else for a while and I love these games rock there is going to cause me trouble. If not for me, for him. <laughs> or the tree. Come on. Let's keep it moving. Damn, we have the damage. I feel like we've... Fuel consumption is just crazy. Crazy. I'm going to need to get the Tuz all the way back and refuel again. The trouble is when you go into automatic, it's them, them annoying little ga uh, gear changes, so they... You, you just lose momentum. We need to get an off-road gearbox for this. But so they seem to give out the fine tunings, so maybe we should try the fine tunings. I just generally don't like them in the past, but they may work out better here than they have done in, uh, you know, again, Snowrunner. So. I think in the, this first half an hour we've covered a lot more ground than we did in the whole hour of the last hour and so there's an improvement. If I make that block there, a bit less sure of winch length, does that help me at all? time to soak the fruit to another day as well in a minute. We have a day-night cycle. I've got nothing against day-night cycles. I just think for the content and for trying to speed this up, just doing it through the day is just going to work out better for me.
Now, if you remember, over there is where we went and looked at that old tower. So we need to turn right up here somewhere to be able to then climb up around towards the uh, the base camp. Perhaps we should have got one of the, the mod trucks in for this job. That might have just <laughs> made mincemeat of it. <laughs> Again, you guys let me know what you think about adding uh, mod trucks into this playthrough. We've already got our DLC trucks, so I, don't, I, I see no harm in adding some mod trucks as long as they're not ridiculously overpowered. try and find some time to have a, a proper look at some of them. I did hint last time out that I might start a, a second save and sort of add some mods into that to see how things how things work and look at some other trucks as well. The ones that we've not been using. I think the the vehicles are intentionally slower, but it's, it's a much slower paced game than than Snowrunner. I think because I think you know, the, the the idea more of the footing is maybe a little bit more important with with rocks with traction. Although it was important before, I think now it's a lot more important. Uh, deflate tire deflation and stuff like that so that's one reason why I think it's slower pace or feels slower pace and vehicles just feel generally slower when you're driving around but also map size seems to be smaller I mean I think we've got four four or five maps as part of Arizona I don't know how many maps are part of uh, Corinthians but I think on the whole I think they're, they're smaller than the maps that maybe we had in the last game. Or in Snow, it's not the last game because it's still going and it's still supported and there's another year at least of content. But that's, that's sort of how people are perceived at the minute, so we'll, we'll use the terminology. down here and then approach the, the base camp in from behind as if I'm going to drive all the way around there yeah we can come in here then I'll start to show up we got ourselves some foliage to go along with our rock go on give us a bump <laughs> And again, I'm hoping that we get a free, a free one of these trucks. And I'm hoping if we do, it performs better than the one that we've told has. Because even when there was fuel in that, it was a nightmare. It did not help at all.
Boom. 6,700 credits for that. That's, that has taken an hour and 40 minutes to do. Oh my goodness gracious me. That is a beast. Thanks for the help. I hope we'll soon be able to return to geoanalysis in the region. Get rewards. We'll get the rewards. And that is um, us heading back to base because that was all we <laughs> that was all we wanted to do last time out and it's taking so long so we're going to return to headquarters um, so the we've got some jacks being sold anchors being sold we've got more jacks down the bottom there so we're going to get reimbursed for three grand so it's nine thousand seven hundred and seventy four like i say we paid nearly 15 grand to head out on this trip so we've we've lost and well I was hoping they're in sort of rewards or somewhere it was gonna gonna give me a truck <laughs> that's oh dear. that's even more disheartening we not got a truck normally we say goodbye here but we're gonna go jump into the garage and see if we got a truck did we get a truck we just Low Star's got an upgrade. So they've got, we didn't get a truck. We didn't get a free truck anyway. But it's unlocked. For 30 grand. B plus, B plus, A. B minus, B minus, A plus. But it's bigger, isn't it? 130 litres, 80 litres. Uh, diff lock and all wheel drive. We have that anyway. Recovery. If we get that stuck, it's four grand to recover it. And it has four slots. Oh, five slots, sorry. I say that's not bad. It's not too bad. I'm buying it. We went all through all that. I'm buying it. We're having a new truck. 30 grand purchase. Yes, please. Excellent. Thank you very much. We got a new truck. Let's have a look at it. Here it is. So if we bum, ba -da -bum, bum, bum. and we'll try and find a job to do with that next time out. Perhaps we'll go and do what was it, the um, dry gorge, I think here, or we could head out in one to the other, one of the other maps that have got jobs for us and maybe take out the the collie twenty or two nine three M, also known as the nice we'll uh, we'll change the color on it as well but that is it my friends we did it the unsuccessful dew analysis we were finally successful at like i said an hour and 40 minutes to do that that one jobby and the last three um out ones have all been recorded in one sitting so i've been been doing this for a while this evening and we are now down to only eighty-four thousand credits not a lot we need to find a way of making some money. Um, but hopefully you've enjoyed this. Hopefully you enjoyed the success of a difficult, challenging um, task. Um, if you did, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on. Find out when your videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day. And hopefully I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.